I thought if you actually give the tickets for Christmas oh, morning, of course. <laughs> that might be more of a winner. Yeah, if they are playing that day yeah. and young Browns fans look in their stocking and have a couple of pair of tickets, Mary, then that's, that's going to be a very popular Christmas. Christmas day in that household. Yeah, yeah and you know what? Um, the weather forecast would impact that day as well. Yeah, I'm sure it would I be mean, beautiful, 30 degrees and sunny. Nice, I, yeah, you know, no uh, snowy Christmas expected there if you're trying to make it, you know, to drive and go to a Actually, Brown that, game. Actually, those are fun those. games to watch. They're probably That's not true. fun to play, but watching snowy well, games. My son and I went to the game that was, I believe, the day after Christmas two years ago when New Orleans was in, and it was oh, the coldest oh, game yeah. I'd ever been to. The, the wind chill was below zero. Yep. And they lost to make it worse. So that was just not a good day. Not a good day. There have been better days. That's like today. It's just, nah, there's been better days. Yeah. Yesterday was a better day. Yeah, cloudy. The, clouds are, the clouds are moving. They are, Is the, how's the wind? They are hustling. The clouds are moving. Yes, that wind has been very strong as we've gone through the day. We're still going to be uh, soggy and breezy as we go through the evening. First part of the overnight hours. And then we're going to be ushered back towards below average temperatures for at least the rest of the work and school week. We are going to look for a little bit of sunshine to return on Thursday and Friday. So that's going to be a nice welcome sight. It's not going to last too long. Uh, rain is going to return as we head into Saturday. Uh, and that weekend now temperatures on Saturday. We are going to have the rain likely, but we will get a little bit of a boost in our temperatures into the mid 50s likely for our highs through the afternoon. Closer to average as we head towards your Easter Sunday and we're looking like clouds will linger. A chance for a stray shower still not out of the question, but Saturday looks to be the soggier day of the weekend at this point. We've got a lot, a lot of cloud cover out there. The wind is moving. We've had gusts over 40, even over 50 miles per hour at times, especially closer to the lakeshore areas. That wind is still coming in at about 24 miles per hour for sustained speed. So some gusts over 30 miles per hour. So still going to be possible uh, 56 degrees right now. We have had some rain falling. Uh, we are still on the warmer side of things, not as warm as we were yesterday or as nice, but still on the warmer side of this large system that's uh, moving into the Great Lakes region. So temperatures drop back into the 40s towards Chicago, 20s up towards Minneapolis. They're also dealing with some snow up towards areas of Minnesota, Wisconsin. We're not looking at snow. We're not looking at temperatures that cold, um, but we are going to watch the line of showers, thunderstorms developing back towards the border and also this next push of moisture that's been moving through some showers that have been developing over the past few hours. Uh, especially south and east of Cleveland. We have that rain falling right now. That's meant some heavier rain at times, especially across the areas of Tuscarawas, Car Carroll County and out towards Youngstown. They've had some more downpours, uh, just some light, steadier rain for the time being, but still a chance to get a couple pockets, some moderate rain in there. We are going to watch off to the west. We've got this line of showers and storms developing across the border into Ohio right now. That's really the area where the Storm Prediction Center is highlighted for any potential severe storm development. That potential is off to our west. As these storms fire and then move off towards our area, they're going to encounter some problems. Mainly, we're heading into the overnight, and that's going to take away some of the fuel. We're not going to have the dynamics in place for those storms to hold any severe potential as they head towards our area. So we'll see that with your national design mart hour by hour forecast. We keep that chance for some showers as we go through the evening hours here and then overnight we're going to watch that line as it approaches say Sandusky, poor Clinton, maybe still have a few rumbles in it, some heavier downpours and then as it continues to move off to the east it's going to work on tapering off and kind of losing some of its steam as it moves across the area through the overnight. That's going to be out of here as we head into tomorrow morning. Wednesday is going to be noticeably cooler for us. Temperatures likely staying stuck in the 40s, maybe near 50 for a few areas. We'll keep some cloud cover around just a chance for a stray sprinkle out there. We'll see some clearing Wednesday night heading into Thursday. That's going to give us some nice sunshine. Union Home Mortgage 7 day outlook sunshine Thursday and into Friday. Temperatures still below average there. We'll see showers returning, especially as we get into Saturday and more of those showers likely as we get into Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the mid 50s, guys. All right, Jessica, thank you.